But did you see uh, that Ectolife thing, the, the world's first artificial womb facility? Did you see? Rob, no. tell me you saw that. Deli, go back. Uh, I think it's in your the, the DM to you. Deli, keep going. Oh, that's it right there. Deli, play this video. Guys, this is... It's called Ectolife, the world's first artificial womb facility. Put, put look, listen, oh, watch. what is look, this? Just look. Watch. Introducing Ectolife, the world's first artificial womb facility, powered entirely by renewable energy. Oh, that's good. Green. What? Yeah, what? <laughs> solar. Allows watch. Allows infertile couple to conceive Dude. a baby and become the true biological parents of their own offspring. What? It's a perfect solution for women who had their uterus surgically removed due to cancer or other complications. With Ectolife, so, premature dude, births and C-sections will be a thing of the past. I Ectolife am scared is to help out of my mind, dude. Suffering from severe population decline, I, including Japan, dude, Bulgaria, look, wait. South Korea, and people Manhattan. that are having problems having babies, even though depopulation is one of their biggest the things. Look what features seventy-five highly. Like, bro, they just you want a perfect Each baby that's you and your significant other. This is the way they're gonna do it. That's the matrix. Artificial wombs. Look at. Every pod is designed to replicate the exact, exact conditions condition. that exist inside the mother's, the mother's uterus. uterus. Oh my god. Yeah, except for the connection to the mother. Exactly. You're hooked up to these. Del, you can shut it off. Up to like 30,000 lab grown babies per year. Could you? Bro, and you're right. That's taking away from, I'm telling you, they're trying to get us away, as far away as human connection as possible, bro. Well, that's they're, definitely a step in the right direction there. 1,000%. No, this is just me, my opinion. Something something's on the verge we're on the horizon of something big happening i feel like i feel like the powers that be have let like they've let us go on too long without the i mean covid scared the shit everybody but now we're like okay over right. like 9 11 was holy holy shit and look at but I, nothing really has really well the next will be aliens if you're talking about I, things that they're going to use to be able to scare us into uh, the aliens would be the next thing. I agree. That's scary enough, though, because you talk about the removal of the human connection. I wonder how a mother would feel. Would a mother feel the same connection to a child that's grown in one of those weird tubes? No, I don't as think so. they would one that's grown inside of them, or one that's actually grown inside of a surrogate. Yeah. At least that's still inside of another yeah. human being. Yeah. That's how you're hooking them up to some Duracell batteries and going, <laughs> "All right, now yeah. we have a baby." Yeah, because dude, I'm telling you right now, there's no like. So like, yeah, for instance, if that thing dies. You're just like, ah, throw that well, one we'll away. Just grow another one. Yeah, just grow another. Oh my God, you're right, dude. That's gonna disconnect us. Like, cause think about it. People want the perfect baby. You don't want to deal with, you know, God forbid, the baby gets sick or it's blind or has some disease or some, you know, some sickness. This is guaranteeing if it's good and if it's not good, you just pull the plug and. They also mentioned severe population declines. Countries that are suffering from that. I would. I thought we were overpopulated at we this are, point. Yeah, that's country. why I'm like, uh, I'm like in this world. But some some places they say like three or four countries. Well, they showed Japan. Every time I've seen photos of Japan, I'm like, there are a lot of people. In Japan. Oh, especially getting on trains. They're not. They're just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you ever see those little motels that they make them sleep oh in? It's God. just literally like a tube, and you go inside. <laughs> it's like a that. pod. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like we're little babies. So you grow in that pod, and then you grow up, you move to Japan, and then you sleep in these pods as well. <laughs> they're like nap pods. <laughs> I guess like 15. I think I think it's like 10 bucks and you just get to be like i'm tired and you just, <laughs> <laughs> I just, <laughs> just wait can you do it again i'm oh i'm tired <laughs> so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one click right here if you want to watch the entire podcast click right here